Hi, I'm Gizzy Erskine and welcome to Wild Dish. So I've been searching from one end of the earth to the other to find the most nutritious and delicious foods in the world. For the last month I've been looking at Korea. Tonight I'm going to be trying a very famous dish called bibimbap at a restaurant called Kachi. Now bibimbap is probably the most famous of the Korean dishes and I'm here with Chef Peter Park who's going to be teaching me all about it. Hey Peter, how are Hi, you? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, great. So bibimbap. Mm -hmm. Bibimbap is basically an ingredients, a bunch of ingredients on rice, and it's a kind of Korean comfort food, easy to make, very healthy. It's very healthy. Now you, this is different to the bibimbap I've seen. So why is your rice like this? Yeah, um, this is actually uh, instead of a normal white rice, we've uh, included a black rice, as you can see here. Oh, wow! And it's much more healthy than normal white rice we eat. You start off with rice. Yep. What next? Okay, so you cook the rice for about 15 minutes, um, as as you would do usually uh, with any other rice. And then we move on to the ingredients here. Um, mainly, it will be six different types of vegetable. We've got a, a green bean sprout, and we've got a spinach, mm -hmm. carrots, and muli, a radish, and shiitake mushrooms, and cucumber. Excellent. And the beef. Yeah. So it's a bit like bulgogi? Yes, yes, exactly. It's, it's very, very similar to bulgogi, but it's in different cuts. Yes. Much thicker, I think. Mm -hmm. So we've done bulgogi, and if you want to see how to make that, then you just click up here. So how do you prepare everything? Right, uh, mainly it's, it's pretty much simple. Um, it's more, more of boiling the vegetable and lightly seasoning it. Mm -hmm. the, the other ingredient that will be pan frying will be shiitake mushroom okay. and carrots yep. and the beef. Once you've got your ingredients blanched and lightly fried, it's probably about time to start building the dish. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So we put this in here, sesame yes, oil yes, please. into a bowl. Yeah, just a touch. Yep, the thank sesame you. oil in Korea is so okay. much better than anywhere else in the rest of the world. It's way more toasty. With some sesame oil into the pot. So the reason why I'm doing this is that uh, obviously A, it gives that good you know, aroma. And secondly, so that it won't stick everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to put uh, rice into the pot. I mean, that's smoky, smoky yeah. hot, isn't it? I mean, yes, you, is, can, yeah. you can see it really. That's fiery. <laughs> I yeah. love cooking like this. It's exciting. Okay. So can you see that sizzle sound? It's like you've got to yeah. listen to it. See, I just want to point something out that you probably take for granted, but yep. what you've done is you've piled it up in the middle and I'm presuming it's mm -hmm. so you can plop each of the ingredients around exactly, the edge. Exactly, definitely, yes. I mean, usually uh, the amateurs, they make me stay flattening the rice, yep. but obviously you need to put the vegetable on I do on that, top. I'm going to be honest, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just before putting the vegetable on top of the rice, I'm going to put the egg. Uh, it's slightly cooked white, uh, egg white. That's some skills right there, getting that on. We try to get the egg yolk bang right in the middle. In the middle. Yep. Okay, and then now. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we've got a spinach. Yep, spinach. So the key point of this is that try to put the vegetable, place the vegetable uh, in contrasting colours next to each other. And now we're going to go for the carrot. Okay. Oops. Something quite therapeutic about plating a plate up with some chopsticks. You should really try it. Okay. Sounds like a. Okay quite a bizarre thing to do, but it really does, it makes everything a bit easier and neater. Once the shiitake mushroom is placed, we're going to have a cucumber next to it. Finally, we've got a muli for the vegetable. Well, I feel like we're making a work <laughs> of art here. Okay. And I'm presuming this guy next. Yes, uh, okay, finally. I personally like to put a lot of meat, but it's all up to your... But you know what, you practice. say a lot of meat, but in comparison to your classic English portion of meat. This is a much healthier oh, yeah. portion. Yes. And in, in, in Korea yeah. you just love to value your ingredients and, mm. and meat is, is it's expensive and it's scarce and mm. people should treat it in a better way, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And I love I love that you, you treat your food like this. So I'm just going to grab a little black sesame seed. Uh, mm. Depending on the restaurant and the personal preference or, or your, your culture, your family culture, uh, you can sprinkle any other ingredients but we sprinkle black sesame seeds yeah. here, yes. I mean, first of all, they look beautiful, but they're mm. totally nutritious. Mm. So I'm just going to like okay. debrief. We've got a great mixture of both white and black rice on yep. the bottom, yep. crisping mm. up, and then we've got six different toppings, um, vegetable toppings. Yeah. So we've got our spinach, our um, bean shoots, our carrots, shiitake mushrooms, cucumber, muli, and then the beef, and then your egg. Yes. I mean, everything on there is super healthy. Okay, so I'm not maybe using my hands. Yeah, <laughs> that would be crazy. Okay. Traditionally, uh, we eat this with a uh, gochujang, which is a Korean chili paste, which is uh, the 
the paste you need for every Korean uh, Korean chili paste, as you know. The amount of uh, chili paste you put on is down to you. I'm tough. You're tough? Yeah. Okay, so, right. I usually put about two and a half teaspoons. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna mix it. A lot of people nowadays, oh. they mix it with chopsticks because it's easier, yeah. but the spoon is the way. Yeah. So you can rub all the paste with the vegetable and the rice. Yeah. And this is like, I mean, it now becomes a fried rice, doesn't it? A really <laughs> healthy fried rice. Yes, yeah. Okay, right. so that's now all mixed. Go away, my go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to be really hot in both of the ways, isn't it? It's going to be okay. spite, like steaming. Mmm, yeah. mmm. Mm. And then when you get that crunchy rice bit. Oh, yeah. That's the best part. Oh, you like the button mm. crisp, crispy rice, yeah. From a British person's point of view, it's very familiar. It tastes like a classic fried rice, but with a bit more body to it because it's got the gochujang, which is really spicy. But then you've got the everything else that you know and feel, feels mm -hmm. very familiar. It's just got loads of veg, loads of meat. Very, very balanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally harmonious, which is what you were saying <laughs> you wanted from it. If you've never tried Korean food before, this is definitely the dish you should start with. And as you said, you can just add as much or as little yep. gochujang as you mm -hmm. want. Peter, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That is so delicious. A, a brilliant insight into Korea's probably most famous dish, oh, particularly welcome. here in the UK. Now, we want you guys to be cooking this. And if you do, please put a comment in the box below. Let us know how you get on. If you want to subscribe, click here. Now, for all the other Korean recipes and other recipes, you just click here. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. Bye.